Fellow Nigerians, help me celebrate this woman that prevented INEC officials from rigging the election in Abia State. This woman is the hero of the Abia State election. This woman is the reason why Oti emerged the winner of Abia State governorship election. This woman resisted INEC officials and prevented all their manipulations. Let me allow you listen to what she's got to say. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you. I stand on the already established protocol the day is first point. For the records, it has become expedient for me to reiterate my guiding principles since I started coalition activities for the Adia State Governorship Election on Sunday, 19th March 2023. One, I am Professor Mrs. Nena N. Oti Ni Ibewo from Afibo, a body state. Two, I am the current Vice Chancellor of Futo, that is, the Federal University of Technology, Uwere. Three, democracy remains the best form of government. And democracy is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. It is the best form of governance. Four, I have spent the better part of my adult life in pursuit of the high ideals of good governance, which includes, but are not limited to the following, the rule of law, transparency, accountability, inclusiveness, etc. I shall stand squarely, unapologetically, on these principles. Right. Therefore, the people's voice and mandate shall stand. The pastor in me and the mother in me also will not permit me to do anything that will adversely affect the future of our children. I shall do right by God and by man. Seven. The position of Aina Kabuja on the open one case was already in the public view by a press release and indeed a press interview by Mr. Festus Okoye. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, had called me and briefed me on the proper way to proceed. I shall therefore abide by all INEC guidelines. I shall now call the admin secretary, he has already done that, that is what I say. At this point on Monday, I then call the INEC admin secretary to read to us verbatim the press release. Thereafter, we continued with our pollution activities. Yes, he has already done that. Thank you. At this point, therefore, we shall proceed with the proceedings of the day. I now call on the EO and the OC of Obingwa to present their results 
आज बहुत अहम है थैंक यू Um, this is our format for presentation. First, you present your results academically. We will we'll, instead of twenty, say two zero 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 zero. Don't say parties each time you call. You just say I now call the parties. A, you give the results. A, A you give the results. Don't say party A, party this. Then at the end, if there were any infractions, you state the infraction. Action taken. A number of PVCs collected. Thank you. I have the present results of Kolumba local government from North East Nation. We have eleven American words. Number of visible stars. Is 157,390. 157,390. Number of accredited voters 27684. What is cost? A187. A8. One two A A C two two A D C three seven A D P one nine A B C seven two one A P G A one four four five. A B M one eight A P P three eight three B B one one three L P three seven seven six N N P P four one. N R M four eight P D P nine nine six two P R P one two S D P five five Y P P three one zero one Z L P Four eight total valley votes two zero 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 rejected votes five one zero total votes cast two zero five one zero. Thank you. Any questions? No. Thank you very much. Sir, uh, IT, are we good? All right, we will now take a few minutes for me. Oh, sorry, please. Um, comments from uh, party reps. Yes, you stay there. Please take the uh, uh, mic. Stay on your seat, please. Yes, um, thank you. I think we should call you, Madam Apa Abora. Uh, we are happy with what was just led out to us. 
because this local government has been a contention. And I would say, if we have done this for Obiwa, because it is said in Ibu, if you kill a snake, if you have not removed it, the snake has not died. If you have done this to the heart, which is the old people, I beg your indulgence to still go back to the head, which is the CCR one, for justice to be to be done. Thank you. Thank you. Next, note it. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ibrahim Okazo, the Coalition Agent for African Democratic Congress, ABC. Uh, I've gone through the results from Obingwa, and as a political party, we, are, we know that Obingwa happens to be one of our strong points. But having received the results from our Coalition Agent, and uh, compared with what was read here today, we want to confirm that the results are in order. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. I hope that's the last. Eh? Um, I want to stand uh, before we to comment you. I want to announce that you are my very real This uh, everyone has been a, a problem and also a contention. And so many Afghans have had their blood for irregular conferences. But for this one, I come. I come. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, good evening, um, let me make it clear that the well out and um, that my deposition, the all progressive remains that this is we are greatly motivated and great to the best of our knowledge. It does not in any way represent the true position and figures as we are collected by our agents from the various from all of us people and the various local governments as have been submitted in this place. We remain with this position and we are determined to follow up with it and we assure you that we are going to prove that what has been read here does not truly represent the true position of the result of this conversation election. My name is Prince Tony I represent my party, all progressive Congress. Thank you. No, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will now take a brief recess, but I'll be here to do some finding work. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Please, you may proceed to submit.
Where is the mic? Give to LP.
channels television what you're watching is the collation or the resumption of a collation of results in Umahia Abia State uh, where the collation of governorship elections uh, resumed this afternoon of course uh, the Obingwa local government area is where uh, the disputed figures lay and uh, those uh, results have just been submitted uh, to the state's uh, coalition officer, uh, Professor Nenaya Ozi, who is the Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Technology. Uh, there and uh, they've been bringing you a summary of the results uh, preparatory for announcement. It's been a rough road uh, in the last couple of days getting to this point. Uh, on Monday, INEC wrote to suspend a collision of results in Abia State because of huge protests that arose because of that. Uh, political parties, the contenders to the governorship seat in Abia State. Uh, were laying claim to uh, having won the race, uh, both all of them uh, asking INEC to announce their candidates and their parties as the winner of uh, the elections which held on Saturday, uh, March the 18th, that's uh, just over the weekend, a couple of days ago. Um, very soon we'll hear the results uh, from the coalition officer for Obingwa. Uh, you know, various party agents had wanted to make comments with the, regarding other issues, uh, but uh, the professor insists that only issues pertaining to Obingwa be laid at her table because that's the only one she's dealing with today. Uh, all other gov uh, local government areas had been sorted and the results for Obingwa will be added, uh, which is being done at the moment before uh, the announcement of uh, the eventual winner of uh, Saturday's uh, governorship election.
details from this afternoon's uh, coalition process in Umwahia, Abia State, uh, uh, the resumption of uh, the coalition of election results from the weekend's governorship election in that state. Uh, all local government uh, election results have now come in uh, following protests and claims by uh, various political parties and supporters of those parties and their candidates laying claim to having won the governorship seat in Abia State, asking INEC uh, to declare their candidates as the winner. Of course, all those claims uh, came even as uh, the, all the results hadn't come in yet. Uh, so well, that's what the process is being is the process going on this afternoon. Um, on Monday, INEC had suspended a collation of results in Abia State uh, because of one local government area which was uh, disputed. That wasn't declared as at Monday. Remember, uh, the elections took place on uh, March the 18th, that Saturday. Uh, governorship elections in Nigeria were expected to have taken place on March the 11th. That's a week before. Uh, but because of uh, uh, claims and uh, disputes over the uh, outcome of the presidential election uh, itself, uh, so the INEC had to postpone the governorship elections uh, yet again to March 18th. So those elections took place. A lot of results have come in across the country. Uh, various uh, uh, election announcements have been made. Winners have emerged, although some states are still being disputed uh, as uh, parties and their candidates are seeking uh, judicial means to get redress. So Abia State is one of them. Uh, the results are being collated. Obingwa was the last local government area uh, that was reporting uh, the coalition officer for that local government has just presented uh, the results this afternoon uh, to uh, the coalition officials and, of course, the party agents and other representatives uh, represented in this room. It's been a long road getting to this place. Um, two states in the southeast uh, were sus the coalition for two states in the southeast was suspended. Enugu is another one. Uh, that one is expected to uh, resume this evening as well. 5 p.m., I believe, is the time for that. It's supposed to be on at about this time. Um, of course, we will bring you details of that as well when it starts. Uh, so, work is ongoing in Umahia, the Coalition Center, as INEC officials led by Professor Nenna Nenaya Otif, VC, Federal University of Technology, Ori, is leading the INEC team uh, to bring all the results in officially and, of course, announce the winner. That's expected for this evening as well. This election was contested. The candidates received the following votes. Wamba, Emeka, Michael, Mayo, Party, A, 1,528 valid votes. Two, Akuma, Carlo, Wilson, Mayo, A, A, 4, Hundred and seventy four valid votes. Ohuchi Bond Oluchubu Mail AAC two hundred and ninety eight valid votes. Onoha Sunday Ndubu Nuba Mail ADC 2,529 valid votes. Thank you. Donas Okorafo, Chiwike, Mail, ADP, 601. Ikechi, Emerike, Mail, APC, 24091. 
Ibn Gregory Ikechuku Charles Mail Abga 1H119 Anaga Ndupo Anaga A P M 572 Uzo Carlo Mascot Mail A P P one one seven two eight valid votes. AKG Locke Achinimu Mail DP one one four one valid votes. Oti Alex Chioma M LP one seven five four six seven Opai Opai Hero Mail NNPP two zero six eight valid votes Joma Carlo Mail NRM four seven two valid votes Ahiwe Okechuku Ambrose, male, PDP, 88529 valid votes. Lancaster Okoro Nenaya Nguma, female, PRP, 168 valid votes. Johnson, Obu, Obuleke, Gladys, Inkoinaya Ngozika, female, SDP, 773 Valley votes. Mavo, Enyinaya Chima, male, YPP, 28972 Valley votes. Onuku Prince Chibuna Mail ZLP one zero one one valid votes. That Oti Alex Chiona of Labour Party.
this hour, the results that uh, the whole of Abia State has been waiting for. Uh, final results coming in from Abia State. Of course, uh, Obingwa was just uh, uh, given to them. And then the final collation of results, uh, the INEC official, they're announcing that the Labour Party candidate, Dr. Alex Oti, having scored 175,467 votes as the winner of the Abia State governorship elections. And of course, his closest rival from the PDP got 88,500 and 29 i have a second voice coming in uh to look at uh, these results coming in today jeffrey joins me uh, in the studio you just hear his voice obviously jeffrey what a couple of days what? horrendous has been for audience but now <laughs> the result is out and everyone can rest uh, amazing I mean, everyone apart from the opposition parties of course of course, of course. Uh, these things are expected to happen mm -hmm. when it doesn't go your way of course uh, a lot of the other parties will not be happy by the end of the day, uh, there are the results that the people of Abia have been waiting for is live on your screen right here on channels, television. Labour Party has emerged victorious in Abia State. Dr. Alex Oti scoring 175,467 votes to beat his closest rival, O.K. Ahigwe, of the People's Democratic Party, scoring 88,529. Uh, now we can see the dynamics of the democratic process. So this brings to about 25 the total number of states announced so far after the march the 18th uh, governorship and state assembly elections remember two elections were suspended which is abia and Inugu. now abia has been ticked remaining Inugu, and two other elections were inconclusive in adamawa and okay. kebi state yes, sir, and uh, so we're seeing the results across board so far if you look at this result the apc is still leading with 15 states the pdp eight states and uh, NNPP won, and of course right now, Labour Party has joined that list with one state in the pocket. Certainly, and of course, Enugu too is expected for today. Of course, uh, uh, we sign out from Abia State. Uh, we'll await uh, the coalition uh, from Enugu State. INEG officials are also there getting set to uh, it bring us the final figures from uh, elections in Inugu State and of course and declare uh, the final winner. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, two days, for two days or so now, the uh, supporters of uh, the you know, leading parties had been protesting, asking INEC to declare their candidates winner. Of course, Labour Party was one of them. We saw that. Uh, PDP, too, was one of them. So today, Labour got its way. INEC has finally, you know, collated all those figures and said Labour scored 175. The people have spoken, according to uh, the coalition officer. And Dr. Oti has been declared winner. I can imagine the camp of the Labour Party in Abia State, uh, even in the southeast, in the so southeast. for that matter. Uh, jubilations, I must say, will be the order of the day right now. It, it's unprecedented. Abia has always uh, been a PDP state, and uh, they've held way uh, for as long as I can remember uh, but we need to check all that fact now but right now the color has changed this is perhaps one of the biggest upsets in this election remember we've had a couple of upsets we had first in Sokoto where the APC beats the PDP and then uh, we had at the NNPC beating uh, the APC in Kanu State and then we had Zamfara uh, where the PDP beat the APC and now the Labour Party the new entrant in the game if you will the disruptor has come in to beat uh, the incumbent or the, the party that held sway uh, until today. So guys, it's always good to celebrate brave people. It's always good to celebrate good leaders. Like Mr. Peter Obi told us during the election that he's not just particular, uh, you know, for, for the Labour Party. He just wants to see candidates that are credible.
candidates that are you know competent that is just what he's after it's not just about party and that is what this woman has displayed in this election this woman you know there were so many forces around her but she stood her ground she stood her ground and she has come out to announce the real result you can see the margin you can see the margin OT won with a very, he won like double of the PDP. He won with like double of the PDP uh, num numbers. Honestly, this is what we want. The people's choice. The people's choice. In case you've not seen the other videos where people were rejoicing after I then declared OT the winner, please go to my channel and watch more videos about OT's election. Honestly, it gives me joy. It gives me joy. Now we are beginning to have real leaders in the place of power and i'm so happy about it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you for watching and god bless you bye